Good morning, beloved. Greetings, blessings, triple blessings upon you guys today. I've got about 30-40 minutes before I need to get to the office and I have a very, very busy day today. But I wanted to share this um, beautiful word um, from my devotional book called In Touch With God for October 18th. And I believe it will bless us tremendously. I have not read it yet, so I'm just going to share it with you. And let us digest the Word of God, His truth and righteousness, amen, for the kingdom of God is joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Spirit, amen. So honesty, that's the topic today. The righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. Even a child is known by his actions. By whether his conduct is pure and right. Proverbs 27 and 11. So it says the righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. So I guess in the same sense, if the man or the woman is not righteous, then his or her children after him is not blessed. Unless God intervene and redeems, which he does. In my case, he has done that. And I praise God. And every one of us has been born again by his Holy Spirit. The blood of Jesus has purchased and redeemed us. Amen. When we repented, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the curse is no longer upon us or our children. Amen. Honesty has been a very rare value throughout the centuries. But I wonder if it was ever as scarce as it is now in the 21st century. That is so true. There are lies everywhere. Lies in politics, lies in personal lives, lies in churches. Oh my gosh. The Bible does tell us, the Word of God tells us that the whole world is under the influence of the wicked one, Satan, the father of lies, death and destruction. Amen. He does not have any truth. In him there is no truth because he is a liar and a murderer from the beginning. So when we're lying, then we are acting like Satan. We make him our father when we lie, whether it's little or big lies. Amen. But our Father is the Father of truth and righteousness. Hallelujah. And He's holy. And He calls us to be holy. Amen. These days, it is indeed a rarity to leave your handbag lying somewhere and to get it back with everything still in it. Most people have forgotten the value of honesty and being upright, even in business transactions and the paying of income taxes, and this includes Christians, it is too easy to find excuses about why it is impossible to be completely honest. In the late 20th century, the Institute of Motivational Behavior found that 97% of all people tell lies, and that each one does so about a thousand times a year. Wow. And it seems like this dishonesty comes a long way. Makes me um, remember our pastors shared, preach a really powerful message on little lies, big lies. Um, and of course, the book of Revelation 20, is it 21 verse 8 tells us that all liars will be uh, sent to the lake of fires, burning with brimstone. Amen. So we as Christians unknowingly every one of us sometimes tells lies we just excuse it as you know little lies or somehow we find a way to justify our lies but all lies little or big lies is an abomination to God and he detests liars and all liars will end up in the lake of fire and that rhymes (laughs) and um so We have to continually ask the Holy Spirit to guard our heart and guard our mouth. Because sometimes it slips out without even trying to. Because, you know, we're still in the flesh. And this flesh is corrupt. And we have to uh, submit it at the cross of Christ. And um, ask for His uh, forgiveness. 
and stand in the power of the cross, amen, on his word of truth. And it seems like this dishonesty comes a long way. Just listen to what the prophet Isaiah said thousands of years ago. No one calls for justice. No one pleads his case with integrity. They rely on empty arguments and speak lies. They conceive trouble. Isaiah 59.4 If you are serious about your Christianity, you will need to learn to be honest and to live with integrity. Christians are supposed to be different, honest in their business transactions and money matters as well as in the things that they say. If you have not yet been able to get this right, ask God to help you with it. Lord, I realize now that I do not always act honestly. Please show me the areas where I need more integrity and make it possible for me to be honest and upright at all times. Amen. And if you're in a relationship, especially a marital relationship, any relationship, but especially your spouse, and you're hiding and you're um, deceiving them, and you're hiding behind your passwords, you won't be transparent. You are a liar. And there can be no trust. There can be um, no redemption and no forgiveness of sins from God. No trust, no intimacy, no fellowship between you and your spouse and whoever you're in relationship with that you're lying to, that you're deceiving. And definitely no fellowship and intimacy with the God of truth, holiness, and righteousness. So I pray that each and every one of us will take this to heart and repent for any areas of deceptions and lies and dishonesty that we have been dealing with or have dealt with in the past and we would submit it under the blood of Jesus and arise again in his peace, in his power, in his truth and walk in the light as he is in the light. Well, I have to run guys. I love you. I pray that this blesses you and um, I will talk to you soon. Please pray for me. It's a long day today. And it's the beginning of five days um, of my work week. And there are corporate, um, corporate people, owners, and vice presidents. They're coming in to visit all of us today. So it'll be my first time visiting, uh, meeting them. So I bless you in the name of Jesus. I love you guys.